Good afternoon, everyone. I'm James Crumwell. The scene of America's worst nuclear accident 45 years ago, decommissioned five years ago today. Now, something that seemed unimaginable not long ago, the clearest sign yet that Three Mile Island might come back online. Seth Kaplan live at TMI in Dauphin County with all the details. Good afternoon, Seth. Good afternoon, James. And when you say live at TMI, we are literally standing on Three Mile Island. Uh, not something you get to do all the time, a rare opportunity. You wouldn't have wanted to be here, of course, 45 years ago when that worst nuclear accident in America's history happened here, a near disaster in Reactor 2, in the end contained, but memories of that are partly what makes this so significant. The announcement today by Constellation Enemy, uh, Energy that Reactor 1 will come back online five years after it was decommissioned. Constellation emphasizes they turned the rea Reactor 2 here off on economic grounds, not safety grounds. Still, they realize some people worry about nuclear energy and they realize this is not just any nuclear reactor. People that were here in 1979, it was a huge impact to them, to their lives. And that is Unit 2. We're here to talk about Unit 1. And that plant ran for 45 years. It had a stellar record of performance and safety. And provided a lot of jobs, which they say will be coming back here. Thousands of construction jobs over the next four years. They're planning to get this thing up and running by 2028. And then hundreds of permanent jobs at the, uh, at the reactor. Uh, now, this is all being funded essentially by a deal with Microsoft, which needs energy for its AI. Uh, all, of, all, all around the world, companies like Microsoft, Amazon's another one, are, are depending more and more on AI. They need lots of energy. So basically, Constellation says Microsoft has signed a 20-year deal to buy lots of energy here. And that, they say, is what's going to fund getting this back up and running without any significant taxpayer contribution. So they describe it very much as a win-win uh, a for everybody. Still needs federal approvals, but because there's no state money involved, uh, probably nothing for the state legislature, for example, to, uh, to say about this. Lots more that we're going to be learning, obviously talking also to people who have their concerns uh, about this place. Coming up later at uh, 5 o'clock right now, though, live at TMI. Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News, James. I mean, but Seth, I mean, this is a big deal. I mean, we've been talking about maybe TMI reopening and, and things like that, but an actual deal here is in place. And as you talk about Microsoft making this happen because they need this energy that they said because of AI, you said that there are some other hoops that they do have to jump through for this to officially happen, but do they have any kind of a timetable for when they think that TMI could reopen if this does go through? Yeah, James, they say power could be flowing from here as soon as 2028. So uh, it's not tomorrow, but 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 in terms of very big projects, you know, four years to get this back up and running actually doesn't seem like uh, very long, does it? And and uh, yes, uh, an approval process to go through. But because it's being privately funded, fewer hoops than maybe if they were looking for state or local contributions, which is the case for some other reactors across the country that are going uh, that are going back online. Not the case here, they say, at, uh, at TMI. Great point. That is a big development. All right, Seth Kaplan live there for us on Three Mile Island. Thank you so much for that.